And finally this, write this down. Relational prayer brings God's presence and power. Relational prayer brings God's presence and power. Elijah said this, answer me so these people will know that you, O Lord, are God. Jesus said it this way. Say these first two words with me. Rescue us. Rescue us from the evil one. Come on, turn to somebody and say, he will rescue you. He will rescue you. Jesus and Elijah both in this moment, what they're doing is they're asking for God's presence and his power. And when Elijah finished praying, I mean, fire fell from heaven. Talk about the presence and the power of God. And I believe like Elijah, God was looking for somebody, anybody in the nation of Israel, anyone that that would be looking and crying out to him and he was ready to answer. And I believe today God is looking, he's watching, he's waiting to see who is crying out for me and he wants to show his presence and his power in your life if you will just call on him. I just experienced this about a week and a half ago. You know, we were having all that rain, and it was cloudy and miserable. I was sitting in the front room of the church, and I'd just gotten word that the, our church in Ethiopia was official. Like, we are going to launch it. It's going to happen. Core Church, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. I was so excited, and I was sitting in the front room, and I was just praying, and I was thanking God, and I was asking God, okay, how, how do we do this moving forward? And I'm so grateful, and and out of nowhere, the rain stopped, the clouds broke just enough that the sun started shining through. In fact, I took a picture of it. This is the greatest moment of that, but, but this was the moment. And, and the rays of the sun were shining through so brightly. In that moment, I was like, I can, I can sense, I can feel. I don't just know God. Like, I feel God. I I feel his presence right now. I feel his power. This is what God wants to do for you. When when you pray, God will show up in tangible ways when you pray. 